Hello everyone, I would like to start today's lecture by modifying the previously explained data path to include load word and store word. So till now, what we did is we included the support for R format and I format and this is just by uh, including some two multiplexers. So this uh, control unit or uh, control line of course should go to ALU source. It chooses between the sign extended immediate. This is the immediate. It takes 16 bits and transforms to 32 bits by adding the sign. It adds 16 zeros or 16 ones. So this just to add a little bit of explanation adds 16 zeros if positive or 16 ones if negative and uh, of course we have the regi register destination which chooses between RT and RD so now assume that I have this instruction load word dot T0 8 dot S0 and assume that we have dot S0 will be 100 as uh, indicated here so of course uh, what we need is a data memory why because what happens is register file of t0 will be equal memory of register file of a 0 plus 8 all right so if we uh, divide this instruction we see here that we have an addition and this should go through the ALU all right so we need to add this and this is already done through add I we already include addition with the immediate in add I and this is done by getting a zero from RS getting the immediate from here and adding them together now of course to complete this I need another component which is called the data memory so this is the added data memory all right of course it has two control lines this will be memory read and memory write so i can only read i can only read from data memory when this is one i can only write to uh, memory when this is one so it has an output which is the data and an address so whatever the address is the data comes out okay so uh, now to connect all of these let's start by placing uh, the load word in binary so if I want to check the opcode the opcode will be 23 hex so I'm gonna write it here so I'm gonna do all the modification of red so we have one zero 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 one one this is the opcode and then I have RS this is RS this is RT of course we don't have RD RS will be uh, 18 uh, sorry 16 so this is one RT will be uh, six uh, eight And here we have the 16-bit immediate, which is uh, 8. So 8 will be like this. 1, 2, 3, 1. So this is 8. And then we have 12 zeros. 2, 3, 4. Okay. So this is 16 bits of 100. Zero, zero. So what comes here is 0x008 zero, 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 and the output will be 0x8 like this. This is 32 bits and 16 bits is coming in. Now of course we have RS connected here, RT here 
of course R D uh, it will take the random bits here but it has no significance alright so this is the connections here now um, after decoding the instructions and uh, fetching the registers so what comes out here is 0x 100 of course this is 32 bits so I'm not gonna write all the bits here uh, here of course uh, it will fetch the content of 8 but it's, uh, it's not a value that we want we need to choose this value so for this instruction uh, ALU source of course should be 1 so this should be equal to 1 and register destination I should write at RT so this should be equal to 0 why because I don't want to write at RD I need to write at RT so this should be 0 okay register write of course there is a write to the, uh, to the register file this should be 1 we'll talk about ALU control later on now so from here I got the 8 I got the 100 so the ALU will add and we will have uh, 0x 108 okay so this should go into here then let's say this is address 0x108 and there is inside of it 5 so this 5 should go into the register 5 however we know that also results from the ALU should go also into the register 5 so when we have two choices to do we need to add a multiplexer so this multiplexer we have this is the data and then this is the value from the ALU this is 0, this is 1 and this value should go all the way to, to the data of the uh, register file and here we need to add also a control line which is called memory to register okay so we added three control lines these of course should go in here this is uh, memory read memory write and memory to register of course for an LW instruction this should be equal to 1 because I want to pass this data if I have an R format add instruction or an add I instruction this should be 0 so you see the control lines dictates what's happening inside the data path for example uh, let me write them here all together so for an LW instruction register write should be equal to 1 why because I want to write to the register file this is evident here or right. register destination which is this guy here I need to write in RT because this is an I format instruction I don't have any RDs so this should be equal to 0 because the multiplexer says 0 on RT then if we take a look at the ALU source ALU source should be equal to 1 because I want to select the immediate here because I'm adding an immediate with the content of a 0 then we have memory read and memory write of course memory read is uh, memory read is for LW because I'm reading from the data memory and memory write is for writing uh, to the memory so memory read should be equal to 1 memory write should be equal to 0 and the last control line which is this guy memory to register should be equal to uh, 1 because I'm choosing the data out of the memory all the data goes into the register file alright so these are the specific control lines that happens when the processor sees the opcode of an LW here I know that this is an LW from the opcode 
and this is the complete uh, data path of the load world now the obvious question what if I need to do an SW what are the changes that goes if I need an SW if I I will write the details of the SW as follows so let's say here I have okay I'm gonna the SW Uh, let's say let's use the same uh, or different register dollar t1 uh, let's say 8 dollar s0 let's say there's a value in dollar t1 that uh, I, wa I want to write to memory as you know for sw what happens is that the memory of the content of register phi at s0 plus 8 is going to be equal to a register file of t1 so the value so let's say t1 has a 0x a and s1 also has a 0x100 same address so this value should override the value here so now if I look at the data path, what should I choose or, or uh, what should I do in order to implement this data memory? Remember here, to write to the data to the data mem memory, I need an input for the data. And this input from the data should carry on the values. So let's say at T1, at T1, let's say it's equal to a okay so rt so if I go ahead and t1 is which register this is rt remember and and r and s1 is rs now to, to implement a uh, sw I only have to do a simple connection can you guess what's the connection? It's just this is RT. So I need just to the connection like this. I'm gonna jump over this one and this one and go into data. So this value, this is A. This is A that will go inside the data at the address which is calculated which is 108 so to implement an SW we just need to add a line that connects RT to data which supplies the data memory with the designated data so uh, if I go ahead and write the control lines so we have register write so for the register write do we need we need to ask our, ourselves do we need to write to the register file for an sw we don't have a write to the register file so this will be zero okay what about register destination since we're not writing to the register file i don't care what what uh, is the address since there's no write occurring so this is just a don't care now alu source this is important for us I need to always choose the to create the address I need to choose the sign extended immediate so this will be one then I will go ahead and check the data memory so for the data memory I need to read or to write since this is a store word and I'm writing to the data memory memory read should be equal to 0 and memory write should be equal to 1 and the last control line will be register destination and this should be equal also don't care because I don't care if the data source is from the ALU or the data source is from the data memory since I'm not writing anything to the register file 
So this concludes the data path modification for including load word and store word. We included a data memory here, which uh, has the ability to store data and read data.